Hi, I'm Andrew with NVIDIA and you're watching GeForce Garage. You ever get the feeling that your good old trusty rig just can't handle today's hottest games? Well, of course, a brand new PC with all new hardware would solve your problems. But today we're gonna show you guys some simple and affordable upgrades on how to take your old bucket of bones and turn it into an awesome gaming rig. I'm Jeff Wyckoff, Social Media Manager for NVIDIA GeForce. So we went on Reddit and had an open casting call for a PC that was begging for an upgrade. And this is what we found on PC Master Race. Yeah, the user Darius500 fit the bill perfectly. It's actually a pretty good little PC. It's got a quad-core processor, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it's actually got a GeForce GTX 660. Yeah, let's go ahead and breathe some life into here. Or, uh, you know, canned air. What do we need to do this uh, build today here, Jeffrey? You know what, this is gonna be really simple. We're gonna start with a screwdriver and that's really all we need. I've brought in a miniature motorized screwdriver in case we run into something. We also have a can of compressed air, which we'll use to dust out the case. We might need 10 of those. We've got some clips, just in case we've got some rogue zip ties that we need to clip Fair through. Enough. And that's about all we need. So I think the first thing we should do is this guy doesn't have an SSD in his system. One of the simplest and most cost-effective upgrades is to get an SSD. The price of SSDs have come down quite a bit lately, and you really kind of start at the very bottom with 128, but we're going to do this upgrade with a 480 gig. We'll go ahead and move over his operating system, get all of his games onto that SSD. They're going to load so much faster than they used to. You know, it looks like uh, we only have three and a half inch bays on this, right. and this is a two and a half inch card. So what we'll do is we'll attach these brackets to the sides of the drive, and that will give it the clearance that it needs so that we can have a nice flush secure seating inside the PC. All right, so we're gonna take our bracketed drive, fits perfectly in there. We'll just line up the mounting holes on the side. right back in. Perfect. Like a glove. Well, now that we've got the SSD in there, I think the next thing we want to tackle is the RAM. He's got 1600 megahertz RAM in there, eight gigs of it. That's not bad. Which isn't bad, no. But we want to give it just a little bit of extra life, so we're going to swap it out for 16 gigs of 1866 RAM. This is uh, pretty easy. You've just got these little tabs here holding in the RAM on each side, and... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome to the Break Stuff Club. Yeah. As I was saying, is we'll just press these tabs down. That'll unseat the RAM. And on this motherboard, we have to do that from each side. And as you can see, it will come right out of there. Now, like I said, this RAM is still totally usable. Okay. So we're going to set it aside and make sure he gets that for a future he will. project. <laughs> so here we've got the new modules. And okay. You'll notice that one side is shorter than the other. We just want to make sure that we line those up properly. Right. The short side on this motherboard is going to be on the top. Once you get in there, you can really just press it down and it'll press the clips into place. Right. Locking them. Yeah, and you want to make sure to press down on both sides at the same time with equal yes. pressure so that you're not teeter-tottering it in there. Boom, easy mode. I'd say that's probably the most simple way to upgrade is to swap RAM. Either that, or we might want to swap out that uh, 660. So what is this elusive beauty we have here? This is the brand new GTX 960. This thing is perfect for an upgrade like this. It's more power efficient. It uses 20 fewer watts of power, but it's also 60% more powerful. So really, this is probably going to up his game quite a bit. All right, so we just got to uh, identify which bay we want to put it into. Looks like we have a PCIe slot right here in our first bay. We'll just line this guy up. And there's different, different locking mechanisms for different motherboards. This one, you literally just press down it. And it's seated. So we'll just get a couple of screws in here to make sure that it doesn't do any moving around. Locker in place. Yeah. 
The two things that we need to reconnect are of the 12 volt motherboard power and then the PCIe power, which has a little adapter here to take it from a six pin 75 watt to an eight pin 150 watt. And like we said, power efficiency being one of the big focuses for Maxwell, we just don't need that extra power. Not only that, certain SKUs of the 960 will actually turn off the fan if you're under 30 watts of power usage. Yeah, making it completely silent. Which is epic. All right, Darius 500. There's your basic upgrades. We added a SSD. Which is really gonna improve his load times. Yeah, absolutely. We've replaced the eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz RAM with 16 gigabytes of 1866 megahertz RAM. It gives him the room to overclock later if he'd like to. We've replaced the 660 with a GTX 960. It updates you to the Maxwell architecture, which gives you access to MFAA and dynamic super resolution. Yeah, it's also 60% more powerful and uses 20 watts less power. All right. Whoa, what do you got there? Well, this is an Antec 1. It's one of the greatest entry level cases that you can buy, inexpensive. This is gently used, but I guarantee you, if we migrate everything from there into here, he's gonna be much happier. Well, with it. what are you saying, man? I mean, this thing is, I mean, it's, it's a good idea. Let's go ahead and move. Well, we decided we'd move him into something that was just aesthetically a little bit more pleasing, a little bit more modern. I think um, we're ready to send this to the D-Master himself, uh, Darius 500. Welcome to your new hotness. You're watching GeForce Garage, the ultimate resource center for designing, building, and customizing your GTX PC. <laughs> no, it's, it's organic, dude. Yeah.